Time now for the skinny and topping our headlines this morning. Another big night for Hollywood. Yeah, can you believe it? Another award show. <laughs> it is the season and it took a giant step closer to the Oscars, of course, uh, with last night's Critics' Choice Awards. Um, Spotlight took home three trophies, including Best Picture, Best Ensemble, and Best Original Screenplay. I saw this over the weekend. It was so good. But yeah, the geez. big winner last night was Mad Max Fury Road, wow, winning really? nine awesome. awards, including Best Director and Best Action Movie. Thank you so okay, much. Okay, so Best the Acting film. winner. Include presumed Oscar favorite Leo right there for The Revenant and Brie Larson for the, for Room. But easily stealing the show last night was nine-year-old Jacob Tremblay accepting his award for Best Young Actor. This is super cool. This is the best day of my life. I also want to thank my parents and I love them very much. And I know where to put this. Um, right on the shelf right beside my Millennium Falcon. <laughs> <laughs> Very cute. He totally stole the show. Many, uh, many in Canada say that his dad is the hottest police officer in all of Vancouver. Ooh. Yeah. Google and Sorry that him. we didn't see him. Yeah. <laughs> we'll pull him up. All right. To the Oscars now and fresh criticism from African-American actors over the lack of diversity in this year's class of nominees. Last week, Academy President Cheryl Boone Isaacs expressed her disappointment and now some other Hollywood heavyweights are weighing in as well. Actress Jada Pickett Smith, wife of actor Will Smith, took to Facebook questioning whether people of color should refrain from participating in the Oscars altogether. And this is pretty funny. This year's Oscar host, comedian Chris Rock, tweeting out an Oscar promo captioning the video saying, the white BET awards. Uh... <laughs> Well, next, putting it all on the table with Steve Harvey. Okay, so it's been, what, like a month now since uh, Harvey famously announced the wrong Miss Universe winner. And he since tried to apologize, but Miss Columbia was saying, uh, was giving him the cold shoulder for weeks. Well, now he's set to sit down with both Miss Columbia, Ari Ari Ariada Guterres, and the real winner, Miss Philippines, Pia Wurtzbach. What's the most embarrassing thing you've done on stage? Um, to see my crown taken, taking me away from me, that was really embarrassing. Oh, that interview, a two-day special, airs tomorrow, today and tomorrow, on Harvey's syndicated daytime talk show. That'll be fascinating to watch. And let's say happy birthday to our favorite non-Agenarian actress, Miss Betty White. Yesterday, White turned 94 years old, and she's stealing the show again in an NFL-themed TV ad for Bandwagon.net, in which she stars with comedian Rob Sprinkle. This year, Bandwagon.net is not only helping fans, our crack staff is also finding new teams for coaches and free agents. Actually, Marvin, they still haven't fired you. I know, it's crazy. Don't worry, Des. I'll put in a good word for you with Jerry Jones. I'm seeing him later at a swingers party. Who is this? Johnny Menzel. Oh, uh, no habla inglés. Uh, no trabajo. Lo siento. Ad adios. I'm not touching that one. <laughs> no, she's so good. She's so cute. Betty White at a swingers party. Picture that. It's the same.